Good morning, folks. Another sunshiny day here in British Columbia. I slept at the customer, so I was able to get unloaded a half hour before they even opened. So now I'm headed to my next customer in Kamloops, British Columbia, about an hour and a half from here. Unload there, and I might even get to Chilliwack tonight. My next load up, delivery of that is in Chilliwack. Probably get them unloaded this afternoon yet. And then I have my last delivery, those last two stops that were supposed to go to Vancouver Island, they're going to Delta BC, which is sort of in the Vancouver area. To me, being from Manitoba, it's Vancouver. If you ask any of the locals there, they will say it is definitely not Vancouver, it is Delta. But you look at it on a map, it's all the same city. I don't know what's going on. Big cities, man. So we'll see what we can all get done today. Let's get on the road. got our second delivery done today and I just called the next one that I was thinking we might have to do tomorrow morning and it turns out we're gonna be able to do it today so we better hurry we got to get down to Chilliwack before they close Diesel, have you ever noticed that there's a ton of brake checks going west into BC towards Vancouver and very few, if any, brake checks leaving British Columbia. They're very concerned that we can get to Vancouver safely. They're not as concerned about our brakes going back to Alberta. I never noticed that. There's like hardly any. Is there even any? Think of any off the top of my head. Brake checks on the Trans Canada leaving BC. Why is there so many going this way but not as many going that way? Isn't it just as important to check your brakes going this way? getting towards 
towards the lower mainland here. The tiny little bowl at the very southwestern tip of British Columbia, right along the border with Washington State. That's where all the people live. That's where all the money goes. Very expensive to live down there. a huge big plain. I know it's a big valley, but almost feels like you're on the prairies again, except that you can see mountains in the distance. I remember when this was the Esso truck stop in Chilliwack, British Columbia. You got Chevron across the street over there and Shell Flying J, it's an old one. I still remember going in here. I left my keys in here once after they closed and I couldn't get into my truck at night. This was like back in 2009, driving a Volvo back then. And uh, left my key on the counter and they locked up because I went to the restaurant to eat across the street. And uh, by the time I realized I left my keys in there, they had locked up and gone home. And I had to call someone to come and break into my truck for me, like a tow truck driver, or like to get into my truck so that I could sleep, at least in my bed, and then go get the keys in the morning. It wasn't the nicest of truck stops, but it was the biggest parking wise in the area. I mean, all of that back there used to all be parking as well. But now there's a new truck wash that popped up over there and I guess they own all that land and they blocked it off with those cement blocks there. Yeah. I remember I walked up that mountain once. There's a nice road that winds up the side of that mountain. I walked up there. That's the restaurant over there. And that used to be a liquor store. Now it's a cannabis store. Yeah. Lots of memories when you travel around on the road for a few years. Can't imagine the memories that are locked up inside my dad's head. He's been doing this for a long time. Right, Diesel? At the back of the lot here, I'm surprised they don't have some kind of like cement curb or something to prevent drivers from going too far. Because imagine if his axles were a little further back and if he pushed it back a little too far, his truck would get sucked into that ditch and just smoke that building and probably put a hole in it. I bet you it's happened already. I bet you anything it's happened. If, if you can think of it, it's happened. It's already happened. So we're not going to stay here. Just stopping for a uh, weasel here to stretch his legs and to get a coffee. Now we're gonna go to Langley. Spend the night there. Hopefully there'll be a parking spot there. There's only like probably like 10 to 15 spots. It's pretty early though. These lids. <sighs> they always leak. This one's shiny though. Are they all shiny or did I just notice it now? I don't like them. I don't like them. I like the old ones better. Okay. I also wash out. Got myself a Canadian maple. I'm very excited. All right, Diesel, hey. You ready to go to Langley? Stretch our legs in Langley? Lame. Oh, this donut is gonna be so good. Oh, I'm saving it though, I'm saving it. I don't know for when, probably for like two minutes from now. But at least I can say I'm saving it and I'm not eight just, hey. I don't need eight hours, I'm just going to Langley. Okay, so let's uh, meander our way over that way. Let's see if we can sneak out of here. Oh, 
hopefully there'll be a spot there. There always has been every time I've been there, but you do have to get there early because it fills up really fast. As far as I know, it's one of the only truck parkings in uh, in that area. Proceed to the highlighted route. I'm nervous even talking about it on YouTube because then everybody else is gonna know about it and then it's gonna fill up all the time and then everybody's gonna be mad at me. Vancouver. Take the entrance to the ride. Absolutely, that's a good idea. just told them that in case you didn't believe me Karen verified you have arrived at your destination on the left side 9385 201 Street I see one spot oh this truck is gonna have to move thank you thank you very much he just backed into that cement barrier. <laughs> Watch where you're going, bud. And first of all, don't park in the driveway. You don't gotta worry about that. Let's see this here. Should be a spot, I think. Right here. Is there another one over here? Oh, I might take this one instead. I think I might take this. Nah, I'll go in that one. All filled up already. I just barely backed in and everything else just plugged up. Very busy place. Except there's a car taking up a parking spot over there. Funny little insert to add right here. As I was editing this all up, that car that was parked there was not supposed to be there. And I wasn't going to say anything because I don't know the rules of the land here. But uh, the owner came out and uh, asked the car to move because there was a lot of trucks trying to park here and a lot of trucks uh, from out of province that needed the spot to park. But the car, she was just sitting there and apparently she was holding the spot for her husband and the owner said that that's not allowed and asked her to move or something like this. Anyways, a truck came in, wanted to back into the spot and the lady in the car caused a huge scene. She did like a massive Karen and, and got all mad, started yelling and then pulled out her phone in true Karen fashion and started filming everything and yelling at everybody and screaming because she wanted to save the spot for her husband. Yes, she's being nice for her husband, but she wasn't allowed to do it. And the owner said, you can't do this. Anyways, it escalated to the point where uh, the police showed up, three police cruisers showed up here and everybody's of course getting out of their trucks to talk and you know everyone said wow i've never seen so much excitement here before it's three cops for this one lady in her car and apparently she had a flat tire i don't know how her tire went flat so she had to sit there in front of all these drivers staring at her while she she had her uh, i guess when her husband got here he changed the tire for i don't know what happened but suddenly there's just cops all over the place and 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 they were here for like an hour and I'm out here talking to the guys trying to figure out what was going on because I was back here editing this up for you guys. But apparently, this is one of those times when justice was actually served. 
you are not supposed to plug up big truck spots with your cars. Doesn't matter what the reason is because other people need them and it's first come, first serve. Especially when the owner tells you not to do that. Anyways, I don't know what happened, but it, it must have escalated quite a bit that I didn't even realize I was so into my editing here that three police cruisers had to show up. And Anyway, a little insert in there for you. Excitement for the night. <laughs> Whatever. Well, Diesel. Oh, I think I like stretched my shoulder a little bit too much while I was working on the trailer before. Oh well, probably just needs a good sleep, I'm guessing. Ooh, ah, yeah, it's got a little bit of a kink in it. Ugh, I was pushing myself up onto the second level. I'm getting old. These things affect me right away again. Anyways, it's not so bad. I'll be fine. That's it for today, everybody. Tomorrow we go unload our last delivery in Delta and then we just swing around the corner to New Westminster. I think it's still in Delta. I don't know. We got to take that load back to Manitoba, back to Winnipeg, and then I'll be going home for about a day, just pretty much for a reset this time. We have a contractor coming to our place to uh, uh, take a look at our where we want to put up our fence. Uh, hopefully we can get that underway. I'd love to get that done before winter, but we're kind of assuming it's probably going to get done in spring because, you know, winter's winter's pretty much here already. So we'll see. He can at least come take a look at it and uh, give us a more uh, solid quote. He gave us a, a reasonable quote or estimate already, but he's got to come take a look at it, see what we want to get done, and see what he can do. Because we want a fence around our yard so that our dogs can run around and uh, we don't have to have them on a leash all the time. But we'll worry about that next week. Tomorrow, we'll unload, we'll reload, and we'll book it back through the mountains. We should get at least, or we should get past Calgary tomorrow. We should get it up to Medicine Hat. That's where I'd like to get to. I might be pushing it between Brooks, Alberta, and Medicine Hat, Alberta, so that I can get home the next day in one shot. We'll see what happens. That means I would get home Saturday night. Oh, I'd be home for our family gathering then. We're, we're having a late Thanksgiving family gathering. Dad was in the hospital for Thanksgiving, so we couldn't do our gathering last weekend, so we're going to do it this next weekend. And I told him I wouldn't be able to make it, so I might be able to surprise them. Except now that I said it on YouTube, it's not going to be a surprise for them. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I can get back in time for the gathering. I think they're going to do it for Sunday for lunch or supper. And I might be back Saturday night, but... Oh, that's going to be pushing it. I'm going to have to rush so hard. But maybe I can get back like Sunday afternoon and we can do it for supper. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Enough talking. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about the channel and get them to subscribe too. Talk to you later. Yeah.